A family hoping to provide a bit of peace tonight, helping out a longtime friend, a man who served a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in Ukraine in the 90s, is now welcoming the children of that young Ukrainian man he met while serving. ABC 4's Lena Takata joining us live from Salt Lake City International Airport tonight with more on one family's journey from Ukraine. Lena. Gwen. Cody Helmet public, uh, Vladik Pavlenko in Ukraine in 1992 when they were both just about 19 years old. Now the Hill family is welcoming the Pavlenko family's children into their home to help them flee the U war in Ukraine. And the children arrived here at the Salt Lake City Airport just minutes ago to this big welcome. I had heard missiles in the background on a few of the calls. Cody Hill and Vladik Pavlenko kept in touch for years. But since the war in Ukraine began, they've talked almost every day. The eldest daughter of the Pavlenko family is already going to a college in Utah. But with the conflict escalating in Ukraine, the Pavlenko family also chose to send their 13-year-old son Andre and 20-year-old daughter Masha to Utah. And the Hill family agreed to take the children into their home. They just wanted to give their kids a chance. Um, to, and it's frightening over there. But Vladik Pavlenko and his wife Tanya will not be joining the children. The parents are staying in Ukraine to help protect their country. They love Ukraine and they're going to defend it to the end. Cody Hill and his wife Nicole say they're more than happy to take the children in. My heart just breaks for Tanya. I can't even imagine what it must be like for her. And so to have the opportunity to, you know, help take care of her family so she doesn't have to worry about that while she's trying to stay safe. We, we consider it a blessing. We're glad they're here. We're going to love them like our own. The Hills created a GoFundMe to raise money so the children can have a sense of normalcy. Masha has been going to school as an aerospace engineer. Um, she's very smart with physics and math. And so we want to find a way to get her to continue that here. Until they're able to go back home. We don't know how long they'll be here. They'll be here for three months or five years. So we want them to carry on their lives and have a positive experience and so... Those are a few things um, we want to do. Vladik and Tanya are staying in Ukraine to help cook meals for the Ukrainian military each day. We'll have more information on how to help the family on our website, abc4.com. Live at the Salt Lake City International Airport, Lena Takada, ABC4 News. Thank you, Lena. Turning now to weather.